welcome to Battles Night Coding Badly. My name is Joe and I am one of your hosts. Let me bring on my wonderful co-host, Kevin. Welcome, Kevin. How are you doing today? Hello. Yes, looking forward to some coding badly. Also very sick. Indeed. But I've taken some, very sick. some we'll drugs that are hopefully good week. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last week I was down, Kevin, this week Kevin's down. Welcome to the Coding Badly Relay, where we get uh, sick one after the other for the next six shows. Um, this is the second episode of the Coding Badly Relay. If you missed the kickoff of the relay last week, uh, Coding Badly is a Battle Snake show where we push the limits of what is possible with Battle Snake through various fun and silly experiments. And this time, uh, we, this time around, for the Spring League, leading into the Summer League, uh, we are doing what we are calling the Relay. And let me jump over to a little screen share to tell you more about the relay so the relay is an adventure kicking off in spring league which if you haven't already you should go and join there is still time spring league is the is the first uh, competitive battle snake league of the year um there's prizes there's fun streams on saturdays it's a lot of fun definitely tune in and the relay will be happening here on twitch tv every two weeks uh through battle snake tv rather every two weeks starting february last february 3rd two weeks ago all the way through to 19th of may and descending we are in slowly into further chaos descending quickly into further chaos of last show that yeah. going to go by i have just realized i've mixed up my date formats here where i've got month day and then day month appealing to both the europeans and the americans in my uh, presentation um and if you want to find out what's happening on the relay, you can go to github.com forward slash Joe Nash forward slash coding badly relay. The relay is, uh, long story short, one snake, one code base that over the course of eight coding badly shows, eight different developers will get their hands on, they'll make their changes, and then they'll hand it off to the next developer in the chain. So Corey, Corey R underscore dev on Twitter or Corey R in the rest of the Battle Snake of us kicked us off two weeks ago uh the battle snake um we when kevin and i were planning this we're like we'll do a node.js snake we'll do an ex simple express we'll use the javascript starter snake everyone you know loads of people do javascript kevin and i know javascript this will be we do javascript it'll be we fine do javascript yeah this will all be good and then cory showed up and was like yeah we're gonna uh do go wasm and uh we now have a go code base uh so that's fun um uh, no idea what's happening. Um, so Corey made an enormous mess that today our second guest, uh, Mason Egger from DigitalOcean, has to clean up. So that's going to be uh, going to be fun for everyone. Um, and then two weeks from now, uh, we have Gary Hocken of Twilio joining us. And then we have Naomi and H. Carrigan in the Discord, Penelope Zone. And then we have uh, some question marks on here, but we actually have locked one of these in on May 7th is patchy codes from new relic and we have two slots remaining two guests yet to be announced um i'm really excited to see who's gonna end up in the last slot <laughs> um the last slot is either gonna just be like someone on cleanup duty or someone deeply filled with regret <laughs> oh it could be two. us it could just be us <laughs> We can't, we can't like lock anyone for the last that. slot because it's, it's too, no one wants to go near it by that point. So it's just <laughs> us being sad. Um, that's entirely possible. But without further ado, let me bring on our wonderful guest for today. Please welcome Mason to the show. Hey Mason, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are y'all doing? Um, we're, we're surviving. We're hanging in there. Uh, so I've already mentioned that you are joining us from DigitalOcean, one of our wonderful partners for this competitive year of battle snake um how anything else i'm missing anything you'd like to tell the crowd about who you are and where you've come from today uh yeah so i'm joining you from austin texas today um i'm a developer advocate at DigitalOcean. i focus on the infrastructure as a service stuff um which makes all of this really fun because i'm used <laughs> to writing backend tools and then we have javascript and go um which I've javascript been, at least i've been learning some of it but cool. i like cool. i i come from the python space um right. where i where we get into you know wars over tabs versus spaces yeah. so yeah. Um, well, i mean that's yeah. fine because if Corey has shown us anything it's that what uh, what co what language we want the code base to be in doesn't matter in the slightest you can you can take it wherever you want it to go mason <laughs> Um, yeah, we could, uh, we could we could uh, write your contribution in Python and then compile it to Wasm, um, and then have that in the main <laughs> JavaScript code base, which is just a shell for other people's work. Please, I would have a headache. Unfortunately, this lives up forever on the internet, and I will at some point need to be able to get another job um, 
So I don't want this being a representation <laughs> of what I of how I actually program. So today we're just going to focus on what I know best, which is deployments. Yep. Yes, yes, which I'm very, first of all, uh, hello Luke and hello Matt and hello Brad. Thank you all so much for joining us. So uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. So I was very excited when uh, it looked like we were going to get you on the show and we started talking about what to do for this because very early on in the process of designing this relay and then especially last week when uh, it was pointed out to me after Coryar's show that now every guest is going to have to build the Go binary um, every time we uh, every time they clone our repo. I was like, oh no, the uh, development environment for this is going to progressively start to make it really unpleasant for guests. Um, and so I'm very excited that we get you on early to solve the deployment story and get our snake up onto a real server uh, and make it easier to play games with and interact with. And I guess that is our aim today. And we have a couple of approaches that we could try, right? We're going to start yeah. with something and see what happens. We're going to start by going with DigitalOcean's app platform. Um, the go bit makes it fun. Um, I have it. I, I'm still thinking about that in my head right now. My first reaction is to, we should just build the go bit separately and publish it as a release yes. and then just download the release. That seems way easier. Um, now, how deep into that rat hole do we want to go? I mean, I know go releaser. We could set up some GitHub actions to do that. That'd be cool. I feel like that's a bit excessive, but maybe. Um, I, that 100% stops you from ever having to worry about how to publish a, a go release on GitHub again, um, which maybe I can do. We can try it. Yeah. Um, and then I like there, the way you were worried about the uh, how excessive your approach was after what we have already had in one episode. Yeah, you know, Brad, Brad's I, got this right. Coding badly is all about excessive. Okay, well, ex okay, no, I've okay. So Matt says here in the chat, Docker image it and build it every time. I've thought about that. I don't want to build a Docker JavaScript image. Like I keep, I keep going through that in my head, and it keeps making me upset. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's that, okay. So we're, that's Plan C. Okay. Okay. That's okay. like that's like the if we can't get this, if I can't get this to build and go through on GitHub, then we will figure out how to do it in Docker, which I can do. But again, that was yeah. That I can be considering definitely my last case, my worst case scenario. I because people don't need to build. Like I've got a feeling this go this goasm isn't going to change for the next eight episodes. No, no, I don't think it will. No, so and also like how Corey it. set it up is very much as like, hey, here's the Battlesnake seal or here's the Battlesnake rules library. It's job the people in the JavaScript app can call into the functions there, and you know it's there as a utility. I don't think we need to interact with it again now it's set up. Having said that, I'm sure someone. If there's going to be someone along the line who's like, I'm going to crack this open and do something hideous, but I I think I'm going to lean towards your suspicion that we probably don't have to touch it again. Yeah, that's kind of that's that's what I'm hoping. And then, and also, what happens is once I'm done, it's not my problem anymore. It's only no, no. problem. This is the beautiful <laughs> bit of the relay. You can make as much of a mess as you want today, and then it's Gary Hawkins' problem, and it's all fine. <laughs> um, however, I do just want to draw attention to something. Uh, Luke says over engineering is my middle name. Well, Luke, uh, I'm so glad you're here. You see these uh these these question marks at the end. Uh, would you like to bring your middle name to fill one of these question marks? If you're in, if you're in chat speaking speaking a big game, let's uh let's get you in the schedule, my friend. We have two empty slots. Luke. It's done. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Anyway, one thing I realised we've got to do in the pre-show prep, Mason, was get your screen share up. Would you? Are you? I I would hope you're driving today because I have no idea how to do any of the things you want to do. Uh, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's go with what we have on screen so far. As I'm looking. You know, what? I guess we're we're, uh -huh. we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna peel back the curtain and we're just gonna look at everything today. Perfect. So these are my person. So what I'm doing is I give a lot of tech talks on DigitalOcean. So we're taking yeah. about three of them that I normally do over the course of an hour. We're gonna jam it into 90 minutes. So that's gonna be fun. Perfect. Can we pump up the Zoom? Control yes. com yes. Control Plus Mashing. Thank you very now, much. Now here's here's hoping. Okay, so I did a tech talk chat. a while back. So the way that I do when I do my technical talks, I actually write myself a very detailed outline. I did one on how to do um, go releaser and go builds. So I'm going to be reading my own notes from something I did like uh, four months ago, it says, so I can figure out how we're going to do this. Um, I guess my first reaction actually is let's look and see what how they're building this. I was about to share that repo that you just had open, but that's a private repo, right? Tech Talk. Yeah, it, it is, it, yeah, cool. yeah, that one is a private repo. Unfortunately, that's where I keep all the ma that's where all the magic lives. Perfect. As, perfect. as if what as if what I do is magic. Um, 
Okay, so it's literally just go build with the go arc set to was wasm. Yeah, I mean, this was one of the things that we ended up speaking about was like, it was surprising how integrated, like it was surprising that wasm was just in the standard go yes. tool chain. You didn't have to do anything weird. So it should be, you know, as simple as this can be. That's what I'm hoping. So, okay, that's all of my code because I actually did a live coding demo. So I don't need any of my live code. What I need is Perfect. the GitHub action. Right. So that does look like a GitHub action. Set up go. That's that's looking good. And then go release her. Yeah. And so then... I've you're gonna yeah. you're doing this on a fork. I wonder. Uh, sorry, I actually I'm gonna double check that when we merge uh, actions into my repo that um, my account is my account has actions credits. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay, so we we kicking off with with actions, and is that where yeah, we're going to start by writing let's, YAML? Perfect. Yeah, let's, let's let's kick off with this. That's where I think I'm going to go with it for now. So, I need it's a what dot GitHub. Yeah. Yeah. Dot GitHub dot workflows slash release close Slack. Go away. No one's going to bother Perfect. me right now. Uh. Okay. So dot GitHub slash work workflows. workflows. Yeah. Workflows, yeah. and then we're going to go ahead and just add, and I think I just called it, I think I can call it whatever I want. But <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you can name it anything. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So now the question is that I need to be able to set some of the args. Yes. Yeah. That's a good and point. That's going to be the go args, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, which which I, I imagine won't be too hard to find because, like, my understanding of Go is that. A lot of stuff is achieved via go args so i imagine like literally any action that's building go for someone anywhere must be set in go args um yeah so let's just look at the doc the github documentation oh that's not the documentation but maybe it's github actions Usage. actions .go. okay i think i've got something here so what you got oh, maybe i don't one sec nope this is this is not what i want at all this is the i mean they just have they just have args, which I wonder. So I'm curious yeah. if that if if these if they're args or if these count as ENVs, because the way that the script, the way this where to oh my goodness, so many things in so many places. The way this is set up is these look like they're Go environment variables. So I don't yeah. know if those are actually but args. But I or... don't. I don't know. Sorry, how let me complete this for. So, no, never mind. I was gonna say I I don't know if it would be sufficient to set those as environment variables in the repo environment variables or if we actually have to like explicitly set an environment variable on the actions runner um well we have inv right here and it's, it looks like chat saying that they are just regular environment let's just try it if it breaks we'll fix it later perfect thank you BK. i am gonna have to pull this over here though because I, I need to be able to look and see what's going on so it's just the go the go os is javascript the go arc is wasm and then uh, oh but that, that might be the args for the go release or not the go build give it a go see what happens so it spits yeah, out let's see what happens yeah and then let's get some things going i have realized that we haven't asked you uh what app platform is for the folks who may not be familiar <laughs> Um, oh, yeah. But we can get to that in a, once we get this initial thing going. Um, Matt yeah. IPv4, pleasure as ever to see Matt in the chat, is saying that uh, env is a YAML key value pair array. Oh, so right, we will yeah, have man. to have like goose, JS, gorch, as we call it, wasm. Which, which is like what? Like this? Like where you do it? Uh, I am not a, a YAML. I am not a YAML engineer. Like I, that's why I avoid Kubernetes. Not a like YAML. Uh, am I seeing in the chat that uh, I, I, I think it's is colons. kicking off? Okay. Colons uh, on line twenty-eight and twenty-nine. I think they're colons. Where the where the equals would be. Ah, okay. Yeah, you're right. I think yeah, so. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And I don't know if I need the dashes, but. Uh, Matt IPv4 says no hyphen. No hyphen. I hate to say it, but like I would much rather I'll take JSON any day. Like every day of the week, I take JSON over YAML. This, this you, need be, you need to be careful because if we compare the two, Hugh Rawlinson will appear out of nowhere saying that JSON is a subset of YAML, whichever way around it is. <laughs> it's just, okay. It's, it's like Beetlejuice. You say the name too many times and it just appears. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
and then GitHub token. Uh, yeah, that's right. GitHub yeah. token should be the same uh, thing. Okay, yeah, we had an example here, and we completely ignored it. That's good coding. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and I'll just go ahead and push this, and then we'll see if we can get go ahead and get the get the the thing triggering. Yaml is um, great, says Matt, which spoken truly like someone who works at a cloud computing company. Do you work on infrastructure? Do you have a problem with YAML? I forgot oh, for a second there. I forgot where I put this in my my hierarchy of stuff, but I think I found it. Good. How's the music volume, by the way, for spectators? Are we okay? Uh, dot GitHub. You know, again. Uh, fetch stuff and go this. version. Get. Uh, Commit dash s dash m. Adding. Uh, what is this called? It's a GitHub action. Yeah. Uh, I can't do that. Ah. Sign your commits, people. <laughs> okay. Music good. Thank you, Brad. Matt, Matt's mentioning your indentation, and I think they're completely right. You're using two steps of indentation on lines 28 to 30 and 4 on everything else, and I think YAML moans at stuff like that, but we can find out. Oh, yeah. I, I, no, I probably did. I, I usually have problems with YAML, so... We'll find out what's broken when we get it pushed up, and then we can work from there. Yeah. Where on earth? Okay, so I don't even have it open... Do I? No, this is my fork. Here we go. Okay, so we have the release. Yeah, they're right. The indentation's off. Yeah. And is it spaced or was it tabbed? Okay, look at that. What happens when you have stuff expand tab on your. Commit <laughs> the changes. So we've got that fixed. Which will solve that. <laughs> Mason, you write Python. You should be used to white space being important. Shake my head. I am used to white space being important. I still hate YAML. <laughs> like, and it's because like because the original one didn't ah, I don't want to get into it, Matt. Like you gave me enough crap on Cloud Chats this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have that. Now I guess we have to go set up the actual Oop, nope, looks like it's still kaboomed. Okay, let's see what we what's breaking. Invalid workflow file on line 13. Matt does need to be careful. Um, we do have well, a like, have a, yeah. a, an accidental precedent here on Coding Badly, where when someone is too helpful in chat, they get ye yeeted into the show live. It's happened more than once. <laughs> we will send you a StreamYard link, Matt. Is your indentation on the line above? Actually, the name checkout needs to go in. Oh my goodness gracious. Really? Steps, okay. steps is a list. The first item has a names, uses, with, and fetch depth. So you need yeah, to indent is... the name. Okay. There we go. I promise I know what I'm doing. You're all good. Let's get to... This, this show is called Coding Badly for a reason. We all know what we're doing until we're live, and then we forget how keyboards work. Well, so does, so does everything under here need to go in then? Because it's got steps and then everything... Else, like everything it uses... Users, etc., should be the same indentation as name. Right. Oh, so, so the, the, the block the block is started by the hyphen, and then so the yeah, 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 should yeah. be the same. Yeah. Oh, so like that. Yeah, yeah. Great. I'm not convinced that's right. I think they all need to go in. Where is the dang? Let's look at the example. Example. Okay, yes. this is what the example is. What so is that break what... line all about? <laughs> Okay, so they all need to be within the same... Okay. I don't think you need that break line. Okay, let's just do this. It's been a while since I wrote a GitHub action, but I don't remember having break lines. And I think they all need to go in under steps. Do they? Where's... Okay. Oh, you're making me really not confident in my exclamations now you know what we should do we should google gonna yaml yaml validator <laughs> just yeah, copy and paste we'll the code do, into that is we'll just we'll just i'll just copy the part from github if github's wrong we can yell at github and then i because like we literally added two things right so we just cut paste that in there we'll let that be the thing and then we'll just go with that mm -hmm. <laughs> welcome to coding badly we'll be here messing with indentation for the next 40 minutes 
doesn't even look like it works. Oh my goodness gracious, okay. However, I do have to say, I haven't seen that, um, that, uh, the inline YAML validation error within GitHub itself before. That seems new. That was okay, nice. We're going to just undo all of that because it looks like everything is crazy and mad at me. Just the blocks for each array item need to be correctly indented. Okay, I think it's probably just this. We're just going to try this, and if it doesn't work, we'll keep trying till it works. Perfect. That's the spirit. People ask me why that. I don't like Kubernetes. Okay, so these need to be this. Does it look like everything else has got a... Okay, that is a four indent. Okay. So that and should be... GitHub token is come out, yeah. Yeah. This value cannot be known. Uh, what on earth? Why is it like that? Um, that sh that push needs to be indented relative to the on. Like, yeah, and then same for jobs and go releaser. Yeah. My goodness. And then the width. Okay, so width. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Everything okay, about Matt, this is wrong. Matt, Matt is Matt is coming. We've we've conjured Matt. Matt's coming at you on Discord. Just jump in. Like, just tell, just send him in. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. You know, sometimes I watch people use computers and I, I'm I, I like internally mad at watching them be so inefficient. And I feel like that's just Matt right now. I was thinking yeah. the opposite. I was really impressed by Mason's forward deleting. Um, Matt, can you message me on Discord? Because I always struggle to find your Discord handle. I have this problem every time I go to message you. Object was expected. Of. Okay, well, everything else looks better now. The, there we go. Except for this one right here, and then we'll just wait for Matt. <laughs> Actually, no, we can just do the commit. Who cares? We can all, welcome, to, welcome to the land of squash commits. Perfect. Perfect. At I said leave one... it. It's, it's, if it's messy, it's next week's problem. Exactly. Hey, welcome to the stream, Matt. Hello, hello. Oh, you, are, you are invisible. Um, can I make it so your avatar shows? Um, how are you doing, Matt? I'm doing good. How are you? This is good, weird. Lovely. I did not expect to be here, but yeah, welcome, welcome yeah, to the show. Now. Would what you like you, to introduce what you, yourself? <laughs> what you the YAML mess stressed me out far too much. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Matt. I also work at DigitalOcean alongside Mason, um, but I'm an engineer in our marketing team, whereas Mason's on DevRel. Perfect. And yes. apparently, you are a boss at YAML. Help us. Right. Okay, I th you've got pretty close at this point. Uh, env and everything below env just needs to be dedented one step. So, oh, because oh, it's not a, it's not in the width. Yeah, it's outside the width. Uh, okay. But otherwise, Let's I think if... we're pretty close now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this feels like this would have been solved by a VS Code plugin. I, I feel yeah. like many things could have solved this. <laughs> I feel. Was it? Can you uh, dedent the stuff inside and like half a step to match the width? It's just stressing me out now. Are you good? I think we're good now. We'll see if GitHub lets that run. You are so. <laughs> <laughs> It's a I good feel thing like we're this friends. Is a friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this re this really is. We already did a whole live stream this morning, so that's actually that's going to be have to be a new like thing we add to the relay going forward. People can ask the audience, and we'll start a Twitch poll for them. They can phone a friend when we eat someone in, in from chat. <laughs> what's the what's the other ability in it? Oh, fifty fifty. Uh, I don't know how we'd implement that one, but yeah, well, now we're not even getting the thing to trigger. So, <laughs> oh, oh, you can. Did you commit the change? Yeah, thirty six seconds ago. Can you? Do you have the option to manually rerun it on the side? Uh, uh, under the... oh, it's because the, oh, okay. the workflow is now correct, and you've configured it to only run on pushes you're... that are tagged. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so do we? Is there just a need to, just need to strip the tag line out? Or um, you, they, you can make it. it. <laughs> yeah, or you can tag it, but you can. There is a way you can make. Uh, actions manually runnable, but it requires like an it's additional a single line if you want to do it. Phone. 
Do you want to do what's it? The, yeah, yeah, that what's might the be that pattern. might be smart. We're probably going to have so to do that a lot, right? Just directly beneath on indented uh, workflow underscore dispatch. Workflow underscore dispatch. Yeah, let's do a colon at the end. And that's it. Oh, sweet. Um, and we don't and need then to... we want to remove tags from push, right? Well, do you want to leave tags in there so it still automatically runs on tag pushes? Do we care? Like, if, if Are we, we if ever going to tag and put whatever? Yeah, that's Well, but that's, just how, that's just how I did it. So, I mean, honestly, I think it's fine if we just do it by, like, whenever yeah, you say, change the go as and come do it manually. I was like, I think you just, yeah, build whatever branch you want when we need it. Yeah. Okay, so now, how do if I... If you go to the workflow... It? The workflow. Release. Ah, run workflow. Run workflow. You okay. Change the branch and run it. See what we get. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, whilst we're waiting for that, um, what is that platform? Where are we putting this stuff? Matt, uh, Matt Mason. Okay, so App Platform is DigitalOcean's platform as a service offering. So, I'll okay. pull up, let me pull it up really quick, and then I'll we can just kind of walk through it as I wait on, I have to make sure I'm in the right team project. Okay, that looks like the, that looks like my my demo team project. So they're called apps. And app platforms, just a really easy way, very similar to Heroku. So if you're okay. if you're used to the Heroku build style, actually, it's the same exact build packs. Um, so if you're used to that workflow, that's uh, what it is, but you would basically come in here and you can link your GitHub, your GitLab, your Docker repository, you can also upload directly to um, the DigitalOcean container registry, if you want to build your own. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I can just, oh, I'm not configured to do this on this. That's ah, fine. I don't care. Uh, not now, last pass. Um, what do I have? Python, Python sample. Ah, I actually have a Battlesnake that we could deploy. Nice. It's a really bad one. Doesn't do a lot. Um, <laughs> I Sounds guess, like I my guess. battle snakes. <laughs> so basically you would you would set it up according to our documentation. Like this is the way we should be running, like you know. Yeah, this is what this is the setup that you would need for the build pack. So we sure. would come here to GitHub. Sammy swims for a little while. <laughs> when are we getting the Sammy head and tail? What's happening with that? That's actually happened today. We have we have the codes for that for today, so we can definitely Ooh. give that out. Uh so sample Python battle snake. Uh, we'll be able to click next and then basically you just set up environment variables. Boom. It'll do it. It builds it for you, deploys it. And then you have, you get, we'll give you a URL and you have a working battle snake ready to go. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. And this is in addition to the more like historical digital ocean. You get a VPS. You have to roll your own. Yes. This is, this is the, the nice. step out of like the infrastructure as a service and into platform as a service, um, type of offerings. Nice. Okay, so we Very had a cool. kaboom. What was the kaboom? The kaboom. coding batting relay does not contain a main function. Oh, goody. Also, why is it trying to build it for everything? Uh, that sounds like there's a matrix build somewhere in the... Uh, the go, re the go re Probably in the Go... Well, it's in the oh, Go release. Yeah. Go, re go release oh, is known right. for like... Okay. So now let's go back to, I guess we go back to the go release when we check what's up. If this doesn't work in the next couple of minutes, we're going to just manually push it. <laughs> that sounds fine. Like I don't want I don't want to get stuck debugging go releaser. We're totally okay with that. Um, how are you doing, Matt? Happy hanging out. If you yeah, if I'm you at any it. point are like I'm done with this nonsense, feel free to. No, uh, don't, I don't, I don't like, want you to feel like we're holding you hostage. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine to sit here and help if I can. Um, I'm like fully doing other stuff at the same time, but I'm listening. Um, I'm, I've also Perfect. pulled up the Go Release docs to try and see what's going on here. If anyone else from chat wants to join us, let us know. I'll have a party. <laughs> have an entire party in here. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I don't even see anything in the docs about how to. Yeah. What command is it? What what command is Go Releaser running in the background? I wonder if that's the look. issue. Because there was a main on. I I haven't looked at the code for a hot minute, but I think Corey added a main. 
But also, I mean, hang on, it did now. say... Is it... Uh, is this a directory issue? So it said in Coney Badly Relay, do we need to set it to be looking in the Go folder? Uh, we actually might need to, yeah. Building for Coding Badly Relay doesn't contain the main function. It's All of the, the Go stuff is within Coding Badly Relay forward slash Go. So we might need to be telling Releaser to work only on that directory. Does it take That's... directory? You'd think that would be a sensible thing for it to uh, Yes, inputs work, dear. Where does that uh, go? Yeah, where does that go? Work, dear, is what I whisper uh, to it with. gently as I'm waiting for it to work. Uh, so you make it, if we edit the file, um, yeah, we're at the same point where version latest is. Yeah, Brad, it's a stream party. Get in here. <laughs> is it? Is it's just input or inputs? Uh, uh, it work, dear. A work there, uh, and then I guess go. I think we said Joe. You said it was. Uh, yeah, it's the, the directory just called go. Okay, let's do a commit. Let's try it and see what happens. Oh, I have to go into the release and click the button. Yes, I do love that button. Now exists. It's a good button. It is a really good button, and. You can actually hit it via the API as well. <laughs> what? Nice. Uh, and so, not only can you hit it, you can have a big stream deck button to rerun so you, your. Yeah, you can hit it via the API, and you can also hit it via the API and give it a JSON blob as an input. That's very cool. So you can trigger a build with a load of custom data. That's really neat. Oh, oh, oh! Well, it already it already gave oh. us a little X on the side, but <laughs> no. it's go on, get up. Wait, or is it? I mean, What's... it's still going. So why is it? It's yeah, still going, but it's it's failed. It's the little engine that could. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. The weird is thing it... is, I'm not I'm not getting any has, logs. Has like it just I can't. Hung? Try did to reload break... the page. Did we break Go releaser? We break GitHub. Oh, we broke GitHub. Okay. Oh, that's really not. Uh... Okay, so. We've, it's less angry than before. Yeah, that's a couple of other steps past this time. It just failed at download. Am I reading that correctly? Failed to build for Linux ARM 64. Build constraints exclude all Go files in the thing. So it feels like it's trying to build it for the wrong yeah. distribution. Is there a... How do we, like... I feel like the fact this is doing a matrix build is probably overcomplicating our lives a little bit. Yeah. Um, what are we? What this? Okay. What, so what environment looks... to the, is is at platform? Like I'm guessing it's going to be Linux containers, right? Yeah, it's going to be Linux. Okay. But so I mean, it's... in the in here though, it does not in the build. He's build for the JS goods, so he's only building it for that one. I say it's not, it's not building a standard Go binary. No, it's building a WASM binary. Yeah. So okay, can so we even I... use Go Releaser for this? Um. So there is a Goose fit like under builds. We have builds. Customization no. build. I hope builds. Corey. Well, I know that Corey couldn't be here for the first. Can't be here watching this. But like when Corey watches this back, and it's all just like Corey. <laughs> Screaming got, at the go. We've got three JavaScript developers uh, and a Python developer trying to figure out how to build a Go binary. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder this uh, is going right. Um. So there is like I don't. <sighs> okay, so it looks like you can create a dot go release a dot yaml file, and in that you can set the Go architecture and the Go OS. Oh, goody. As to why it doesn't let you set those from environment variables, environment variables, it seems very, very, very. Oh, so that's what we we think the Go environment variables are being set. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's this. the 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 Go OS is what determines which which OS is it builds the package for. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so it's doing a matrix by default. Yeah. So this was these these environment variables are pretty much just being. They're not doing anything. Okay, that gives science look into this. See, so we need to work out how we set. Um, 
so uh, uh, on, back, that was... private chat. Hey, hey, Jess. Jess said a crossover episode. I don't I mean, know what I was that on, refers I was, to. I was on the same, 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 uh, same. I was on the exact same page, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Do it we feels just like there should be a way to just very quickly set those via environment variables, but we can just add a file, I guess. Wait, yes, uh, for... Do we put that? We put that in the Go file. Yeah, I would we put imagine that in the Go in, folder. Yeah. In the Go directory. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. We can see what happens. I think we can do a very bare bones version of that though. So yeah. like just okay. builds and then just the go OS key. If you are just joining us, we've had a little bit of a bump in chat. Uh, oh, um, you'll need the hyphen at the top. Sorry, Jay. No, you're good. You're good. You're doing making the thing work. Um, we are on episode two of a relay snake. So each week, a different developer joins us to add on to our shared battle snake. And this week, we have Mason and now Matt from DigitalOcean <laughs> uh, joining us to add some uh, deployment options to our JavaScript and also Go Wasm snake. Um, we've I'm, I'm 40 minutes struggled there. with YAML. Yeah, yeah. 40, min 40 minutes in, we've struggled with YAML and we've not quite reconciled the fact that uh, Corey last week thought they would start us off with uh, Go, compile to WASM, <laughs> and import it into our JS uh, yeah. starter bank. Uh, Which, to be it. entirely clear, this is exactly what we wanted when we decided Mason, to I think do we probably relay. want to remove like Windows and the ARM stuff from that. Oh, you're like, right. Yeah, but we... Yeah, yeah, we, we definitely just don't need to build for ARM. <laughs> Yeah, and we've got the we do need the the go arch for wasm. So yeah. yeah. Okay, and then we we'll just clean this up Matt, a bit. Yeah, as Matt, since Matt's our YAML validator, we'll just go to Matt right. So, so line time. five and line four can become a single line. Okay. That's line six. Ah, shush, Matt. Matt's services are actually available on Fiverr. If you search for YAML validator, uh, you can get <laughs> yeah, Matt just, to hand um, validate your YAML. Um, we can probably remove all the comments from this. But then I, I won't remember what I did. <laughs> I feel like given it's like three lines of YAML, it's probably self-explanatory. You know, you say is that you really? now. You say that um, now. Okay, so are we good? Well, so the line one comment needs to become the file name without the hash. Oh, yeah. Uh, and you can probably remove the line three comment. It seems also very redundant. How much YAML okay. will you validate for $5, Matt? Uh, five lines. Depends what it is. Yeah, it's, a, it's a dollar a line. That's good value. Yeah. Well, it's, it's YAML, you know. It's quite painful to validate. Okay, are we are we good here, Matt? <laughs> I think we're good. We can try it and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we go to actions. Come here. Let's try Click again. The magic button. What could possibly go wrong? I know they always say don't... Wait. <coughs> Did it, oh, okay. I was like, they always say don't upload a uh, upload a binary to GitHub, but we're like this close to just uploading oh, a binary nice. to yeah. GitHub. I'll, that's that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. So I'll just build this locally and just do a like because it's we'll... it's not going to be a big binary. No, it's going to be very oh. small, and no one will ever write any further code to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very oh. useful utility. Oh. That I'm very excited. We, we, have, a, we, have, we a have a green. green. We have a green. We have a green. <laughs> But now, um, you know, now we've got a green. Like, the thing is, we need to validate that that actually works and it's callable from Node.js, which oh, so yeah, is like the other half is, of the fun. Does the binary work? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... We know that something has been turned into a binary. Does the binary do anything it's meant to? Uh, is there meant Where to be a release it? there? Where Let's is go it release, a... release two? <laughs> is it just an artifact on the action at the moment? Check the bottom, check the action. I keep that might be button. just an artifact on the release. How does... I think it's scroll... We've now gone into bits of GitHub that I, even I don't know. Uh, uh, is... Nothing? That doesn't look the like there's an artifact here. Let's go release, uh, what did it do? Release succeeded. Where has it released to? <laughs> oh, hang on. No, there, it has, it has indeed uh, made a tar.gz. But where is it then put it? Are we, <laughs> is, are we only... Are we... Does... <laughs> I, again, I haven't used the go release action before. Does the go release action Expect. automatically then create the release, or do we now need to then actually like you know, write the action to create the release? Uploading artifacts. Get... Hang on, because it, it's created the artifact and it's pull it in the place where the artifact needs to go, and then that artifact needs to be so it, pushed it's to a release. It to the dist folder, and then yeah. uh, Mason, if you so, yeah, uh, what, what are you doing here? 
well, this is my purse. This is the one that I was copying from, and it worked last time. Like I, this, <laughs> like whenever well, I did this on a TikTok, it worked just fine. Uh, so if you go back to the Go Releaser Action Docs, if you okay. have that in a tab or want to pull it back up in a tab, no, no, so the GitHub Action Docs for it. Oh, the GitHub Action Docs. There's an upload artifacts section, which looks like it's designed for if you're running it outside of a release context. Like scroll oh, down okay. slightly. Well, this is oh okay, yeah. It's beneath signing. Yeah, upload artifacts. So it's just adding an extra step. Okay, yeah, because since we're not doing an actual release of it, it probably isn't. Because we're manually doing it, it probably isn't doing it. That would that yeah. kind of that, that makes sense in some universe. <laughs> Out of my know, brain this... says it makes sense. Yeah. Well, we're convincing ourselves it makes sense, and then when it doesn't work, we're going to be like, but it made so much sense. <laughs> um, yeah. Apply formatting based on previous blocks of stuff. I'm trying, Matt. I actually think you should do it, Brad. I think that'd be really hilarious. Okay, so what are we actually... Uh, it, it'll be in disk. It will be uh, in disk. We'll call this what just... What do we want to call it? Coding badly relay... Wasm. Coding dash badly dash relay dash wasm. That sounds sorry. I just sneezed my headphones off my head. Um. Yes. Yeah. We... Matt, validate the YAML, please. Yeah, the YAML is <laughs> good. Oh, actually, you've actually done it correctly. It's good. <laughs> you know, I, I if nothing appreciate... else, by the end of the stream, Mason will know how to write good YAML. Yeah, and everyone here will know how to not set up a GitHub action. So. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. I think we've got a code golf challenge in chat. Do you have any idea how I convert any unknown number into even without multiplied by even number? What do you mean convert a number into an even number? Then it's changed number. Uh -huh. We're happy to help you with your code golf in chat, but we need a little bit more information about the problem. Yeah, like... just bit you just bit shift right to the right by one and drop the one bit. But like, is that? I don't know if really, that you're just going to get converting. This is a different number. number. Yeah. If I add one to a number, am I converting it? <laughs> well, I mean, sure, yeah, a bit shift will do it, but why? I mean, yeah, but I mean, yeah. if you're converting, if you're converting the unknown number to an even, you're autom If the number is not even, you're automatically translating it. Yeah. No files were found with provided past dist star. I don't believe you, go ready, sir. <laughs> What? Okay, you you uh, you're a you're a dirty liar. It's right there. Uh oh. What? Maybe it's in go slash disk because all of this is running in the go folder. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, works for me. Trial and error. GitHub Actions compute is free. <laughs> so just here, go slash disk. Yeah, that makes sense to me, I think. You know, I actually had a way I thought this stream was going to go. This wasn't it. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. We're here every other week. <laughs> oh, dear. So, Joe, is, is okay. the end... Wait, I haven't been paying much attention to this snake up until this point. Is it eventually yeah. going to compete in the league? Um, so we go, we're running through to 19th of May, so it probably won't compete in Spring League. Um, but at the end of it, it would be, I, oh. it, you know, maybe it will be ready for summer. Ah, oh, Mason's like, celebrating. I see is, an artifact. Is the aim, though, to make this compete eventually? I mean, we, it is, <laughs> I do get a great deal of enjoyment when snakes built on this show do get entered into things so yes that would be that that would be the hope um also but I, also it depends what's good we don't know what's going to happen in six shows matt we have no idea <laughs> <laughs> you know, sorry mason you now. were gonna say I, I was gonna say also someone in the chat appreciated my bit shift comment so i would like to count that as a win yeah that would yeah i mean it's not often we get uh bit shifting <laughs> dropped it's in not here. it's not often that i have answers to any interview questions so like that was the one i knew <laughs> and i'm gonna revel in the fact that i knew that one answer because i've Perfect. been bur burned by that answer question before okay 
But why is it not in the releases? <laughs> well, it's not in releases. It won't be in releases. It's just an artifact. It's an artifact on the build, which is fine. We can use that. I just don't know how we're then going to pull that. That's what I mean. I was, like, I was trying to get it into releases so we could pull it during the app platform build. Um, so app platform has to have it in releases to pull it. It does. I can do it. I'm gonna be. I'm literally gonna hit a curl, and hit it. Oh, then yeah, you can do that from the art. You can do that from uh, the artifact. As a, is there a way to get like the most recent version of an artifact? Yes. Um, GitHub Docs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I believe it's builds or something. Uh, GitHub API. You. It's the ac the actions. It's the the relatively new actions api you can get the latest actions run and then from that you can get uh oh list artifacts for a repository get an artifact but also yeah. once you've got the artifact you can just push it to a release but this is easier because you don't need to i said basically yeah, i think we can just there's like an endpoint to get all the artifacts on a repo so we could just hit that and then do a tiny bit of JQ yeah. to get the right URL. Yeah, it's just repo forward slash actions then forward slash artifacts. Yeah. Is this making sense, Mason? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang cool. on. Kind of. So you we'll know see. where we're looking. Uh yeah, that would help. But I mean like I think the next I think the next step here is gonna be like just getting the app platform that pla app platformy bits set up. Yeah. Um so we can do that by doing dot do slash um, deploy dot template dot yaml. So Matt, you're gonna have to stick around. We got more yaml to validate. Exciting times. Okay. At and one dollar then... a line. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, that's the fun part. I work with him, so it's I get it for free. I just want to make like a comedically huge button with Matt's avatar on it. You just slap, and then like Matt's voice comes out, being like, "Line six. <laughs> okay, so let's just. I'm just gonna steal valid. So we already. So this is an Express JS app, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so it I'm... is an Express. Well, in, in theory. <laughs> in th well, that's that's the primary executing language. Whatever it decides it wants to shell out to is its own problem. But we will go, I lost it. I love how I'm doing this all from the GitHub UI because I'm too lazy. Um, okay, so we'll just call this coding badly relay snake. And then we'll use, for now we'll use my name here, but, or my, you know, my repo. But mm -hmm. once, we, once we pull in the PR, we can do that. And then we'll give it the same name here. Okay, so this is just ba the base. So app platform, basically everything on app platform runs on an app on an app spec. And one of the things we can do is we can add a deploy to DigitalOcean button, which is what we're trying to do here. Um, Forty-five minutes into building Go, we're finally to the app platform part. Um, and from this instance, we'll just be able to like click this button, and it basically takes a spec of a pretty simple default application and will deploy it for us. So we don't have to do all of this stuff for us. We can even set environment variables and all of that other fun stuff we want to do. So, Matt, is the YAML valid? Yep. Good. I would hope so. It came from a working repo and it didn't look like it <laughs> completely messed up. Now, the other question is, is that is this code set up to, like, set up to where the build pack will... Okay, so package JSON, JSON packet dot package dash lock well, at the index. I should really just pull up this repo. <laughs> Which one? The I had the repo. The sample, the sample app, or the uh, or yeah, my... let me let me. It's on your account. You find it. Okay, well, well, here's the sample one, and then I'll send you the coding. Badly, badly reload. Coding badly found it. Don't worry, we're good. Um, do, 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 do. start. Yeah, it's got a start script. It should be fine. Okay, cool. So. I guess let's edit ready? the readme. Oh, okay. I'm going to edit the readme and add the button. Um, Kevin's and... brain looks like it's melting in real time. Or he's going to sneeze. Or he's yawning. One of the two. <laughs> it's all the ammo. Let's get into him. You know, or all three. 
I love how I always never can find the right. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna copy this. One would think I would put stuff in the right order. So how is it, how is it actually calling? So how's it actually oh how's it how's the express calling the go? Yeah, that's the bit I'm now worried about. Um it is uh it it's calling it through Wasm, so like it's when yeah. it's wasmed it has a JS interface. Um so that is a good so currently I see what it's doing. I'm just I don't know how it's going to behave with anything. We'll find out. In a yeah, second. I don't know how to use it with this byte. Do we have to? We'll, we'll, presumably, we we'll have to change the import path, right? Because currently, we're just requiring. Oh, hang on a minute. Okay. We have a tar. We're going to have to open that on the app platform, right? That's I can, fine. I can, I can, I can do that at okay. the time. Okay. Cool. Well, and then, I'm pretty what, sure I can, what, the have, can we can we check briefly what's in the tar? Make sure it is. Yeah. What, we are expecting we, we should just... just have a .js file right <laughs> there's a .wasm file there's no .js file um, because the the code is using a .js file. Using a .js file i don't know what that is <laughs> oh no hang on hang on though there is there is a go out main.wasm so there is a wasm file but like what is this wasm yeah. e oh hang on i know what the wasm exec is the wasm exec um so the wasm exec that it's referencing the wasm exec.js that's mm -hmm. the the runtime so um cory was is. explaining to us that when you build a go program into wasm you get the code you've built as a wasm file but then you also get this big uh, javascript runtime included with it which is doing all the work of you know converting go system calls into javascript system calls so the wasm exec .js is that runtime i think I'm so not, i assume it's an important file that we do need we are gonna need we are gonna need it <laughs> <laughs> so but i would hope it's in the build artifact it's, it's but the other the other oh oh joy but well, then i hope it's part of the wasm package but then are we so the fun fact on this is is that when i w get it I'm getting a 404, but if I click on it on my browser, it opens. I'll be an authenticated link. Yeah. Are you um? We need to find a way to make it. A, set, you'll probably have to send an auth header. Uh, or we could make it create a release because a yeah, release we is could a just do a public release. accessible URL? Question mark. In the meantime, uh, let's try and work out why Go Releaser is not giving us a Wasm exec. Yeah, I feel like it's. it's... <laughs> well, I mean, we haven't even looked in it yet. Or have y'all looked in it? And I've it's pulled not it there? down locally. It's it's got a Wasm file and nothing else. Okay, so I'll you do that. I'm gonna work on trying to get it to actually publish a release. I love that we've got enough people on screen on the stream that we've now got like multiple task squads. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reconvene for stand up in 20 minutes. Okay. This is what so... happens when you use Go, okay? This is why I'm so against it. <laughs> this is just static, like any static language. <laughs> Don't use compiled languages, must always be interpreted. Yes, because they um, don't just work. I don't even know what to search for to see. No, nor do I. <laughs> like, why this wouldn't be. Like, why would Go Releaser successfully build the Wasm, but we wouldn't get? Because in Corey's code, Wasm exec is just coming out in the same output folder, output directory as the main Wasm. So, like, yeah. why would Go Releaser not have created that file? This isn't a. Oh wait, hang on. Um, we. Yeah we are only uploading we are we are uploading the one artifact by name right we're not have we actually checked are we we're checking if there's anything else in that yeah, directory we're when we do that we're, doing we're, uploading, we are, we're uploading the whole folder oh, okay never mind them you, good idea though <sighs> i'm so um, hopeful do, 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 do. oh yeah if we actually read the logs from go release it says error git does not contain any tags so it won't create a release Oh. Back to the tagging board. Oh, so that's completely irrelevant. Just 
actually reading the logs. But that will get us a release that then Mason can W get. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong folder. It's the very... Oh. Okay, my Spotify did that thing where it took us off the edge of the playlist into some other thing. So, um, slight chance we've gone out of royalty-free land. Sorry, Chris. It was really quiet, though, to be fair. Okay. It's right. been music playing? <laughs> exactly. That's good. That's good. <laughs> There you go. How's that? Oh, yeah. Um, so we're into Google Google Foo land here. I've searched for yeah. go release a WASM exec. Uh, and the first result is, is GitHub search. Perfect. Which is terrifying. Well, there is literally there. nothing on the Go Releaser docs about Wasm, so. Yeah. Which isn't super helpful. So, I mean, the other alternative is that we don't use Go Releaser and we just directly call that build script. And then right. do some slightly more generic GitHub action stuff to create a release. Like, what is Go Releaser actually doing? <laughs> like, why aren't we just invoking the Go? That it, yeah, <laughs> it's what I knew. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I wasn't we, like challenging it. I was just yeah. wondering, like, what? It, I mean, if we if we well, did it that way, we'd also have to install Go. But yeah. I guess for this, we, it doesn't make the, like the most amount of sense because it like. It's it's used to build all the different like all the different binaries for all the different architectures. But since we're right. only doing one architecture, well, and we don't really, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we don't. I guess we don't really need so, it. Um, should we try just doing it directly then? Yeah, yeah, we can. So let's edit this file, uh, and then change the name of that step to just like run build or something simple. Of just this 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 array item replacing this one. Yeah. So change the name to run build. Yep. And then remove everything beneath it. Yep. And then uh, run colon. Uh, yeah. And then go slash build sh. But I think we probably want to give it a work directory instead. Hang on. Oh, so stay, wait, wait, you were correct before. Oh, no, but we can't we just use the... Oh, okay. I was trying to see how that normally does it with the work directory. Yeah, I, I, let me see. There's generic GitHub action syntax for this somewhere. Because we're still technically in the Go releaser. Well, I guess not. No, cause I guess that's just what we're calling it. Uh, I'll be honest, GitHub actions docs has got really complicated. No comment. <laughs> I have opinions uh, and feelings. Uh, so it's working dash directory. And what do we do? Just go? Go. And then so the run needs to just be build sh. Okay. Uh, and then upload assets needs to be uh, go slash out instead, I think. Okay. Let's try it. So it's still, we're still going to have the issue of it's an artifact, but if we can get it to build, it's a good first step. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Actions. Release. Did you trigger it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just slow.
<laughs> Five Kaboom. second error. Run build. Command not found. Do we have to do the dot whack build build at sh? Uh, it'll be dot slash maybe yeah or something like that. Yeah. However you invoke a shell script in shell. You're hoping it's the right uh, permit, like permissions on it, like right. Um... You you would I would assume it has uh, execute permissions by default, right? Do I remember having an issue once? Do do file permissions like execute persist when you upload something to Git? Uh, if you do it correctly, yes. <laughs> ah, yes, the uh, ever present. <laughs> if you do it correctly. <laughs> Uh, hang on, let me get clone it. Well, we made past five seconds, so we're 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 now you know a little bit farther ahead. Yeah, uh, it sounded like it was just. Oh, there we go. Okay, go ahead and download that and see if you can. Actually, I can't. I can't W get it. But down is a zip file, which is interesting. Oh, we've gone from a tar. We've gone from a tar to a zip. Uh, no, so it's a zip file with just the two things we need inside it oh so we we now have wasm exec yes we have wasm exec and main.wasm so yeah, it's really it. i'm really i really want to go dig into why go, go release it doesn't produce that now yeah clearly it doesn't know about wasm properly interesting i i guarantee well maybe go releaser doesn't but i i i would almost want to put it that we messed up somewhere like is it if we oh, have to go oh, between so. let's bl blame go releaser or blame us yeah putting the blame on us look we have we have a, a human yaml validator here like this is yes. obviously our fault right like <laughs> yes however okay so we have the file we need but we're still no closer to being able to get it because it's still an artifact and not a release so well, that's fine because the only thing stopping us releasing is tagging our commits right yes. <laughs> like... we're, we're, well, we don't we don't have to... this we don't have this triggering on the tag commit though uh github actions create release we just want to create we can just call it latest every time even um yeah, yeah. i don't care yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actions create release. There is a create release action that is deprecated. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Literally github.com slash action slash create release and it's an archive repo. <laughs> oh dear. Um, there are a few main gonna actions. Quickly just put the code embedding logo on screen just to uh, get make sure everyone's on aware of what's happening. I yeah I don't think we need the logo to know that we're going badly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well it looks like the app platform thing kind of sort of worked, so at least the button works. So we're at least we're we're mostly there. We just we're struggling with Go. Okay, right, hang on, right. Uh, this one looks promising, Mason. I love the looks promising. Hey well, you. It has an automatic release tag, which to me it sounds like it's just going to do it for us. Well, <laughs> Streamyard exception. There we go. Um, okay, bear me one second. We've had a bump in viewers. Let me just explain what's going on. So, welcome to the one hour mark. Um, you're watching Coding Badly, the Relay Snake. Uh, we are building a battle snake with eight developers over the course of 16 weeks. One developer every two weeks. Mason is our second developer, and now Matt. Mason and Matt Digital Ocean have come to adopt our snake that Corey worked on two weeks ago. We started off with an express snake and Mason came here today with the goal of getting us a deployment story set up for that express snake so that we could get our snake, our relay snake set up and easy to deploy in DigitalOcean over the course of the relay. And last week, Corey came in guns blazing and added Go via Wasm to our JavaScript Express Snake. So we have spent the last hour working out how to build the Wasm binary. Um, but we're there, and now we're making a GitHub release. It's going wonderfully. I, I think it may be a bit premature to say we're there. We're there. Yeah, it's objectively going wonderfully. Yeah. <laughs> Which also, one thing I didn't say in the recap is Matt was innocently watching the stream, enjoying enjoying his Thursday evening when he was too helpful, and so he got sent the StreamYard link. So I think, Mason, we want to replace the upload assets step with this. I think. The question is, how do you, like, does GitHub Actions just let you use just some random person's... Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. It does. And you're going to get your GitHub token great. and everything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I actually, I was, I was literally about to say, this sounds, this sounds a little bit sketchy, but 
Okay. Um, uh, so files hang. can become a single line, which is We're just, just going to be... Do... Uh, uh, Hugh, the build out. instructions. Oh. Okay, so the build instructions were included in the PR, Hugh. Um, uh, the problem here was that we were using a Go action originally that wasn't producing the runtime JavaScript file we needed. Um, uh, Mason, so. you need a Go slash on the start of that. Oh, and also Matt is our human YAML validator. Yes. This looks correct. This is an action I've never used before, but it looks good. <laughs> Find out in a Here minute. we go. Here we go. We're still getting the same problem where we're not tagging anything, so it's not going to create a release, right? So I think it is going to. It's, it, has a, it has a parameter called automatic release tag. Okay. So we just make it. Okay. Got you. So I'm hoping that it's automatic. Oh, here we go. This has been a day. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful time for this. So, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm over here feeling slightly bad that it's all going down the drain. It's like ah, it's not. This is great, You're, Mason. No, I cannot overstate not. enough how like we would not. This would not be a utility the snake has if you weren't here going through this pain. So, One oh, we got it. We got it. Woo. Has it <laughs> Just... got assets? It's got assets. It's got assets. It's, got assets. it's a pre-release. They're there. But they're, they are there, and they're not in a zip or anything. They are top level. They are top level, so it's just we need to hit the latest version for those two. Simple. Why does it say pre -re Is the pre-release going to be a problem? Nope. I just decided that we should leave that in there so that people don't think this is a functioning project. <laughs> okay, so if, we w you, get, if we W get that, we actually... We well, get it. of confidence. <laughs> we get yeah, we the did. WASM file. Okay, that. we're making we're making progress. Oh, that's okay. very exciting. Okay, so <laughs> now we I just need to I... do the DigitalOcean part of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now my question, like, okay, let's let's click the button and see what I get. So this is going. I'm very certain this is going to fail when you do it the first time. Um, oh yeah, it'll fail because we won't have the We're going to need a custom start script that uh, curls those two. Right. Hey, yeah. Kim, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Oh, Kim's from DigitalOcean. Don't be too oh, helpful, nice. Kim. You'll be drug in, too. Hey, Kim, yeah, you have to uh... second cloud chats and just join us. Yeah, yeah. we could be second cloud chats. More the merrier. <laughs> um, so, again, like, brief, brief detour to mention. Like, Hugh mentioned there in the chat that they uh, Hugh asked last week whether the build instruction would be included in the PR. And it was, in fact, Hugh that pointed out that every future guest on the relay will have to have a go tool chain to now work with the code base. So the fact that we are dealing with this now in an action and we have done this and you're about to make a deployment for it is going to be so useful for the rest of the series. So I, I'm, I'm so glad we have tackled this and I'm so glad we have you both here to deal with this. Thank you yeah, so because, much. Like, locally now you can just pull down those latest build files yeah. and just use them locally. You don't, we don't need to go to a chain. And again, hang on. I also need to preface that, like, although I'm acting as if what Corey has done is a huge pain in the butt, uh, it is also endlessly hilarious to me that Corey kicked off our JavaScript snake with Go, and I'm very appreciative for everyone who has been involved in this process and so far. To, I'm having such a good time. around it. <laughs> We've got to solve this problem. Okay, uh, so here's so... the thing that I'm not seeing, Matt, is I'm not seeing how to specify the build command. Do we not have... That's a thing, right? It has right? to be a thing, right? 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 Is that not... Is that... So I don't know how y'all build packs work versus Heroku, but like, is that not literally just the only contents of the build pack? It's build just the wrong command. command. I feel well, like there's a whole section of docs here for this, right? This is the how to do, do the automatic deploys, which build is command. doing the. Where's yeah? Build build and run command under concepts on the left. Is that not there? Con uh, just go to concepts app spec. Oh, okay. App spec. Run app spec. Oh, app spec. Yeah, I was just, and then reference. I'm very excited to see this because I have yet to see app platform. And then there's a build command. You know, I'm. Uh, we're gonna hope that works. Yeah, because I I was talking with people earlier. I don't think the app spec and this deploy template are the exact same, but we're gonna try it. Yeah, I don't think they are either. But. It's figuring out the run command, so I'm hoping we can just give it a build command, which just literally w gets these two files. Where is where'd the repo go? Ah, oh, yeah, it keeps doing that. 
So I mean, can, do, we, do we just want to write those as a as a raw string command? Yeah, my 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 concern is that if we override the build command, then we're not going to have. I still want the default build command from the pl from. There is no platform. build command. No, it doesn't have a build command. It's a runtime. Oh, so we just add something and we're good. Yeah. Okay. There is, there is no build command, so we can just add it. Uh, that sounds good to me. Yeah, do it's do and it's in the deploy template. At least I think it is. Yeah. And then we just where does it go? Why do I uh, keep just uh, under the service directly the under service. the service? Yeah. So yeah. The same level as environment. So back no, here. No, no, indented one more. Yep. Right there. Yep. Build. What was it called? Build command. And then w get. Um, uh, open actually, yeah. open yeah. actions in a new tab or something again. Yeah. Are we doing? Releases. I guess, I guess oh, it's in release yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and does this actually get two. the latest? Yeah, those two okay, URLs so should just work. Copy link again. I keep losing where I put stuff. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, and w get. We're gonna make some nasty bash. Uh, do we need to give W get the correct output flag to put it in the right directory? Yeah, well, I don't know anything about this app. Where did the, what was the actual directory? <laughs> that these were? Uh, it wants those in go slash out still, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, go slash out slash. Uh, so we're gonna have to make the out directory because that doesn't exist. Okay. So yeah, uh, uh, make dear dash p. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there, dash, uh, go slash, slash out, out, and, 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 and then get, is it, that's a, yeah, I think it's dash, dash o? O? <laughs> yeah, Code Wedge then, has made a, uh, hashtag of nasty bash, <laughs> honestly, uh, <laughs> so the main repo I work on at work, which is for our, like, marketing site and everything, yeah, I think, like, 5%, like, in GitHub, when it shows you the language breakdown, 5% of that is now shell, <laughs> Because I just spend most of my time writing shell scripts to automate stuff. Yeah. Speaking of the language um, breakdown, I did realize that the, how much of the repo on the language breakdown is Go now. <laughs> do uh, WASM and JavaScript files have to be set as executable? Like, are we going to have to do that since we're downloading no, them? No, because the, the, no. the JS is just read them in. Yeah. Um, okay. That second one has got the wrong file name. Oh, you're right. WASM ex underscore exec.js. Wait, that's the last one. Oh, I see. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's correct. <laughs> Here we go. Boy, oh boy. So, okay. Do we need to press the button again? We're going to go press the button again. But I'm going to control press the button so I don't have to keep backing out of it. Now, if all goes to plan, that will fetch the two compiled Go files we need. There's a and lot of then start <laughs> the express snake, which will load those two Go files. Yeah. Which just to so like if I'm understanding what you just said correctly, if this all goes to plan, we're done, right? We're done. Yeah, we're, we're done. done. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, we're done. If this all goes to plan, yeah. nobody has to. How much RAM do you think this snake needs? Uh, before or after we get to the show with Penelope? <laughs> right now not a lot in four shows time probably a lot yeah well it suddenly gets machine learning out of for no reason well <laughs> if that that makes me really wish i'd done the terraformy bits but that's fine that's fine, it's fine. If, if penelope comes in and trashes it and you need like hardcore droplets i'll come in at the end and we'll add terraform yeah we can phone a friend again yeah okay let's launch it and now this takes a little bit of time so we can let's while we're waiting on this let's give away the do snake Let's get away the DO snake. Yeah. So since DigitalOcean is Matt, do you have where's <gasps> Look at yours? It. Yeah, uh, it's so pretty. If you go to U slash Matt IP oh just yeah, I'm in the leaderboard. Oh wait, you've got a snake? Yeah. Oh, look at that. We got, you've got, we right, got, you've got little... on brand colour too. I've got it's it's literally the correct hex code. I have to go and check. So we have the DigitalOcean snake, so 
where's let me check my let me find my email real quick and i'll get out the i don't know the exact link but i'll send it in private uh chat. yes i believe i do know that information i just need to remember where to redeem if uh the Hang wonderful on. folks behind the battle snake uh, twitch it. handle would like to put the redemption link in the chat it's, that'd be it's, play dot battlesnake.com slash redeem yeah oh that's so it. it's an intuitive url yes and the code is capital d capital o dash capital sammy which i'll also put in there so anyone who wants to play with sammy the shark the lovable digital ocean mascot as your battle snake you can uh I luke will... to your question about why isn't my snake called sammy um i don't know I, I feel like i might have got in trouble with ran for that one no surely not <laughs> i, I already like... have this customization apparently oh well, yeah, anyone in the chat who wants to get it can go get the Sammy, go get the Sammy snake. Oh, look at it. It's so good. It is. I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's, it's impressive what you can do with, like, a tiny little vector head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. How's it going? What rank is your snake right now? Me. 31. What, what is yeah. your snake, what is your snake doing, Matt? Um, I don't know, really. Like, it computes a load of really arbitrary scores and then adds them together Perfect. with some weird constants, and it kind of just works. Okay, Wonderful. so the W get the W gets working. We That's can good. see it in the build logs. Cool. And it looks like it's now running just the standard node stuff, so... <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen chat, Kevin is muting a lot because of background noise. He's not just sitting here like a benevolent gremlin. He is uh, <laughs> protecting us all from the noise, but just to make sure you uh, are aware. Okay, so yeah, this will take a little bit of time, but yeah, we can keep chatting about stuff. Or what else do we want to talk about? Um, well, you. What else do y'all have have coming up in the, the Battle Snake Averse? We've got your head. How long is that redemption link active for? Do we know? Is that throughout the Spring League? Is that what's the? I what's the think it's that? throughout Spring League. Yeah, I think that they were talking about figuring out how to disable the code shortly after this stream just for a little bit so that way cool. you can't go back and view the vod but it will be available later but we're kind of like tiered releasing it um cool. perfect I, perfect I so you've got a, the message there being make sure if you if you are watching this vod make sure you check the battle snake schedule for another opportunity to get the sammy head yeah. yes um and then also I work. I think we're working on some swag and stuff too. Oh, we're getting to the starting. Oh, it says Wasm loaded, so I guess that has to be good, right? If it said Wasm loaded, it yes, didn't yes, that, that, that the web server. Yeah, but where it says loading Wasm loaded, that's the stuff okay. that Corey was adding to make sure the Wasm was being called. So now I think we're go. just I started wait, the web server, so I think it's done. Or we're waiting on it to get the. It just needs to be given a domain now, right? Well, here's hope. Okay, so it, yeah, that's what we're waiting on is the domain allocation. Oh, well, okay, we okay. have it. What oh, we, uh, the code does expire shortly after the stream. Thank you, Code Lunch. Um, so how do, okay, now how do I test this? Uh, just go to the root URL and it should return. Um, oh, okay. The snake spec. Like that? <gasps> I think we got it. Joe, we've deployed your snake. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not, not my snake. It is, uh, my, I have no code in this. Okay, perfect. So... Drop me, drop me that URL, and let's get a game going with it. and Make sure it's working. You have okay. expertly wiped your hands of it, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I've dropped this like a hot potato. Um, unfortunately, it is my snake because um, poor the poor team's feature is now officially wound down, waiting for its next evolution, and so the coding badly team is gone. And I now own a bunch of snakes that I am not qualified to own, like the Bashful Snake, a piece of a snake whose code I can't even physically read. Um, <laughs> all right, give me this URL. All right. Okay, it's in the private. And then, are you? I guess you'll share, so I'll stop sharing. Yes, yeah, I'll throw up a share. There we go. Um, oh, look, we're in the little grid. Give us one second whilst I get this plugged in. Um, this is going to be a very disappointing game because we don't actually have any logic in the snake because we've spent so long <laughs> uh, building infrastructure and uh, WASM. <laughs> that we have the snake doesn't actually do anything but that's like that uh, so classic engineering to just yeah. completely forget to write the actual code but we'll be able to see that it works which is something right uh okay right boom okay um first of all 
let's give it a refresh and make sure that's snake metadata refreshed for coding badly relay okay that looks fine uh coding badly relay start game I really then, hope it works. Yeah, that does things. That that <laughs> didn't time out. It did do, f and the latency is vastly improved. What is the latency, by the way? I'm curious. A uh, hundred milliseconds. That's not bad. Okay. Oh. I, so, uh, which? Oh, hang on. Which? Yeah, which region are we on? This, Mason. <laughs> We're in New York. Cool. Okay, oh. let me change the region on the snake. Oh, where's the snake currently? Yeah, it's west. That's still good. Yeah, no, that's that's great. Um, considering you know, it's also calling out to a WASM binary <laughs> randomly should, should, several times to test so the WASM the, works. The WASM bit should be pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the whole that's the whole so. point of it. It's just it's real. Like I I deployed my first Battle Snake as Python on that platform. Yeah. And it was in y'all didn't have. Oh the wow. Multiple... No, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Now that I've changed the region to yes. New York, it's it's under fifty consistently. Yeah. Oh, that's good. My, see, my Python snake was at like four hundred, and I was curious nice. if it was Python or app platform, and it's it's Python. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is deploying. We have the ability the for future folks engaging with the coding badly relay. The binary of the WASM will be in there as an artifact. So they don't have to install the Go tool chain. They can just grab that. We've got this deployment. You mentioned that we'd also be able to have a, a fancy button on the repo, right? It's there. It's already there. Oh, it's already there. Yeah, yeah right there. Or let me, why am I, I'm saying right there as if you can see it. Um, yeah, 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 let's get your screen back. Yeah, let's or, make it it Where's it? If I can find your fork, yeah. 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 Yep. Ah, oh, look at it. You so when do I button? click this? Uh, it will make you sign in. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 thought I, can, I thought I'd already be signed in. I, I can demonstrate it for you real quick here. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. So, which actually I think is what we already were watching. Like we already watched me demonstrate it. So we'll do it again. Yeah. But we'll demonstrate it one more time. And then <laughs> add me. Sorry, Luke's commenting on uh, Kevin's Iron Brew again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kevin's yes. Scottish for the day. Yeah, so this is this is oh I see okay this is the process you went for earlier so you got yeah. to the sorry I thought you'd gone to the website yeah. deployment so you just nice. click on that and it's just gonna yeah. launch you directly into app platform and yeah, you just click you just click through and you select what you want to do and like the build commands already set in there the only thing and I'll I'll write this up in the readme is yeah. that this code right here um, yeah. directly links back to your GitHub repository. So like right, right it says, so you it will says have Mason to Egger. fork the repo. Got you. Yeah, so if you fork the repo, you will have to change this button in the readme. To, I see, use, to, I pit, see. to use yours unless there's some magic github syntax for markdown that i'm unaware of uh, i don't think no, so not easily no yeah this that would be a great feature for the templates but um alas. so um yeah. it's annoying like if you do a relative file link in here github will transform it for you but there's no right. templating for it yeah 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 but I mean, you could do it as a well actually you can't anymore i was gonna say you could do it as an action um, but they've actually disabled auto running actions. So you used to be able to have an action that would run on fork on like repo creation to do this kind of stuff, but they disabled that because of Bitcoin miners. Um, so you can't even do it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, I will, I will write a note here. Like I'll put it in bold. Yep. Um, also while we're here, can we just change the, the snake head to a Sammy head? Where's we the can. snake yeah. head? Yeah. Oh, yeah Mason, you can yeah. actually like make a commit. Uh, it's, it's under logic. Oh, yeah. I can actually, under, under I logic. can actually, under okay you're gonna have to speak oh is this not in the go bit uh logic yeah no it's not in the go so what the, for folks who are wondering what this go thing is about so our battle snake is the standard javascript node.js style of snake currently um what the go thing is doing actually sorry miss i'm gonna swipe to my screen so you can keep yours up so uh there is a battle snake repository um called rules which is the rules engine for battlesnake and it is a go module and this has a cli and a bunch of tools and utilities to run the rules so the rules are things like hey i have a, a battlesnake game state and this turn this snake is going to move left and then the rules you know simulate what's going to happen based on the rules of the game and then it will tell you for example whether a snake died or whether a snake grew in length so what Corey did last time and what this WASM is doing is Corey 
uh, brought in the rules repo, compiled it to WASM so that it was accessible from the JavaScript so that folks who are continuing to write uh, Battlesnake logic in JavaScript can call out to the rules repo to get the results of their next move rather than having to actually write logic. So like rather than someone in JavaScript having to say, having to do wall detection, for example, they can just say, here's my current move, here's the rules function, rules function, tell me whether that move kills me, so we just have to, you know, avoid deadly moves now, basically. So Corey has given few, the Battlesnake developers in this show a huge shortcut by doing this, um, and this is why we were saying that this Go file never actually needs to be touched ever again, because Corey has set it up in such a way that we use it from the JavaScript. So, there you go. That's very cool. Uh, go ahead and show my screen real quick. Again. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and make the update. This will be a cool thing about uh, App Platform. Also, Matt has a really cool trick. Matt, what's the hex for DigitalOcean Blue? Uh, for DigitalOcean Blue is 0069FF. A really cool trick. <laughs> nice. I, I, it's, it's, not, it's not the correct Sammy color, though. What's the Sammy color? Uh, hang on, let me look at my battle snake, and I'll tell you. <laughs> it is... Uh, 00C6FF. C6FF. Okay. And then we changed it's Dio Sammy for the head and tail. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, hang on. That's also not the right hex code. That's. It's. Mason, I've got a different hex code for you. It's 177 okay. uh, uh, 6FA. Okay. I think that's the correct Sammy hex code. Okay. So we changed the head and the tail. We're just going to go ahead and commit it. So this is a good opportunity for us to go back and look at like our apps and app platform. So, so that will we'll automatically that will redeploy. redeploy. Cool. Automatically redeploy. So now we're gonna have it. Let it. Let it. Did we I set think up I an action it, for the redeployment? It usually automatic. Oh, did I? No, I committed right. Committed. Yeah. I'm curious if that if that we if that had to be checked. I have no idea what the default is for that. It is. It always it always used to redeploy on push, but I've never done it with the template side I've before. I've also never done it with a fork. <laughs> I've also never done. Uh, well, no, I, I know we've I've done it with the fork. So force rebuild and deploy. Well, oh yeah. No. So I, I mean, I don't know, this might be an awkward question. Can we get this? Can we get this set up on the default repo so that the default repo is always like automatically redeployed? Yeah. <laughs> Will you fund Cody Badly Relay? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Woo. That seems easy enough. Okay, so it should have, like, I guess maybe whenever we, I'm actually going to click on it now because now I'm curious as to why it didn't because it normally does. Yeah. There's a checkbox and we might have missed the checkbox. That happens. Okay, cool. Um, there's, there's, it, I, I, I have other stuff in that platform. I know it does. It has the ability to auto from GitHub. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. That is oh, fairly standard. Is pass fair. Maybe it's just not in there when you do this flow. It's not in there when you do it like this. So when you say this flow, you're talking about the button flow the specifically? button rather than just setting right. up from a repo. Yeah. Right. Or maybe... It, it assumes if you're pressing the button, you're probably not like the repo owner and you're using a yes. template or something, right? Yeah, that, that makes sense. That, that makes, does make sense, sense, actually. Uh, I wonder yeah. if there's a way in the app spec, though, to tell it to do it still. To just we can. Do oh, it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's in the app spec for sure. Uh, cool. Oh, deploy on De push. Deploy on push, yeah. Because we, we gave it Git, not GitHub. Did we give it Git or we gave yes, it Git? We gave it Git. You want to try to retest that? I, I don't know. We're actually a little bit over time, but I don't know. We can test it off stream yeah. before you, you make your PR back to Joe's Reaper. Which you are welcome to do this now. We're welcome to wrap it up, whatever you prefer. Um, if you have to jump, that's totally fine. But if you I'm down to, I'm down to get it. I'm down to get it, like, get it done yeah. now. Yeah, let's do it. Get it done. Yeah, so we gave it Git instead of GitHub. Okay, so we do Git Hub. And then what was the? It was it deploy on push. It's a boolean. Yeah, it yeah, takes deploy. Uh, repo true. needs to be changed as well. To oh to the to just oh. without the dot git. Uh, does it even need github.com? I don't think it does. I don't know what an actual valid. Oh, deploy on push is like tied to GitHub or yeah. Oh, because yeah. you put GitHub before got you. Yeah. Wait, 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 here. We have some. Ex examples Just somewhere amp spec click on amp spec on. yep yep reference <laughs> reference 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 how to read docs click on deploy on push 
Boolean. Map. Well, I know that was a Boolean. I'm trying to figure out what the. Okay, that's. I'm trying to figure out cool. the GitHub yeah. repo. So it's, it's username yeah. slash repo. Uh, looking for my uh, 900 uh, different tabs. So yeah, that's true. true. And then just cut the domain off that. And that is be repo, not repo clone URL. Nice. That's it. So let's commit. commit that change. We'll go back to our apps and just delete the old one. What? Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna because we're gonna completely we're gonna do it a completely different That's way. That's a new yeah a new way of deployment, right? So it won't so interesting. Yeah. I think in theory you could go and into here and manually change it to ease. I don't get want up to. For... I don't want to. I've, I've, I've I'll just That's do actually it. Actually, test the button it. works. <laughs> yeah, testing the button. Okay. Uh, it's it's the second tab. Matt, I'm going to like. Send, I'm going to <laughs> I'll send keep you better track your tabs mail. than you are. I'm gonna keep give send you angry hate mail later. <laughs> okay, looks like it got it. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have pulled that if it hadn't gotten it right. So. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, what? what You're not authenticated for that repo. <laughs> oh, you're. They are right because I did. I whenever you I set up my, repo, right? I configured yeah. it for setup for very specific setup repos. So right, right, right. Uh, if you know, and, just go to your. I mean, you can do it if you get up settings if you want. Let me drop the branding. Where's that at on GitHub settings, Matt? Uh, you might want to do it on not on a shared screen. Yeah, you have to go settings, your apps, and then you can change yeah. the repo permissions. Settings. So whilst you're doing that, just a reminder to everyone that if you want to get your own DigitalOcean Sammy head, it's play.battlesnake.com forward slash redeem, and then the code is DO Sammy. And that will unlock the DigitalOcean Sammy head and tail so you can make your battle snake look like a little shark um, and it can doodle around and eat the snakes. I will be honest, my sister walked into my office the other day whilst I was working on my snake yeah. and I I made a comment about the fact that we had the Sammy head and she just went, that's not a shark. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very that's cute a snake. snake. <laughs> yeah, snake shark. It's an eel. How you doing, Mason? I'm doing it. We're good. Let's try that again. So this should now so it sees the repo. One second, it's being weird again. I will be fair. Um, okay. The way GitHub's authentication flow works is painful for this. I got it a weird lots 500. Of, I, lots I, of lay attacks. I got a weird like 502. It was like, so I had to go do it again. So it's different, but. No, but I have permissions. You're lying. <laughs> GitHub. Uh, what account is? Unless it's because you're in the team that is your is that team authenticated as your user? It is. <laughs> no, it is. Like we we always kick each other out of this stuff because like we're this is this is our recording account. Oh, we, I see. Okay. So I've, like, yeah, I have no idea what user is there. <laughs> well, because there's all this. There's like my personal like if i was using my personal account i have access to things that people shouldn't be able to see right now right so but we know in theory that the auto redeploy should be working for this right okay so let's be on, it, okay it says it's there it, it is there we there. can clearly see it but github no thinky it is so yes the auto so this is this is work. some login situation yes. yeah fine. yeah you know. this is some weird login situation but we should be it should be working i'm not gonna okay. fight with that right now that's fine yeah. cool awesome Wicked. So, we can fight. We can fight it afterwards before we get it back into uh, your main repo, yeah. Jay. That's oh, totally oh I do. If you do want to try out um, DigitalOcean, <gasps> you don't have one. We have our oh, balance page. Oh, look at this! 
So you can host your Battlesnake on DigitalOcean. If you're signing up for a new account, you can get um, 100 dollars free credit. Do.co. Do.co. Oh, uh, my bad. My bad. Slash Battlesnake. That's our little bitly. So Do.co slash Battlesnake. I'll be honest. Um, if someone wants to give us Do.com. Yeah, that would be a good URL. Um, Do.co. Doco. Doco. Yeah. What it's a wonderful the... little page. And it talks about all of our community stuff, our tutorials, the tech talks. Yeah. If you've enjoyed Matt and I yelling at each other for the last hour and a half, we do it weekly on <laughs> Thursdays. Um, Perfect. It happened earlier this morning. So, so a hundred hundred dollars in credit if, for new accounts for yep. this. Yes. Wow. Dang. Yeah, that's a, a lot of battle snaking. Yeah. Yeah. I think the credit lasts for sixty days. Yeah. Sixty day sixty day free trial. Yeah. That gets you well through Spring League. Yes, yeah. it will. Nice. And yeah, and, and will... as uh, the the f fourth bullet point there, host your battle snake close to the game engine for fast response times. We were getting sub fifty millisecond response times. It was quick. Yep. And I will get the PR in literally this afternoon to get the code into your Perfect. system. Into and I the think relay, I, yeah. I think we we did it. I think we 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 good. We did. Do you want to do a this? Do you want just do a quick? recap of what has been done so <laughs> the chaos we've caused of the chaos yeah. we have a github action that is grabbing the go building the wasm binary creating that artifact so the compiled wasm is there for anyone who wants to use a snake they don't have to get the go toolchain going themselves it is there and it exists mm -hmm. um but then you've then attached it to app platform with an automatic build so that the whole thing gets built the uh, the build artifacts get dragged in from the releases. They get put where they need to be for the Node.js Express app. The Node.js Express app gets hosted. It's able to get the go. And the snake is running at high speeds. Yeah. We are there. Yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Well, and thank you. Did with a stupid amount of YAML. Indeed. Yep. Indeed. We have Matt, and the human, human YAML validator. editor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you both for being here, Matt. Thank you for jumping on the middle of the stream. Of Mason, course. thank you for uh, this wonderful addition to our snake and this wonderful idea and for joining us in this chaos that is the relay, um, which I do want to emphasize the fun part about this relay is everyone commits to the show well before they see what has happened with the snake. Um, so uh, thank you for being up for this weird experiment. Thank you both for joining us and we'll let you loose and into the uh, abyss. Viewers, stay there whilst we run through what's coming next. But thank you both so much for joining us. Awesome. Oh, nice. where can folks, where should folks go if they want to find you both on the interwebs? Uh, I'm at Mason Egger on Twitter. Uh, and so... I'm Matt IPv4 on Twitter. Yeah. Perfect. I will throw those in the chat. Um, and yeah, thank you both so much. Farewell. Awesome. Bye. Awesome. Uh, Kevin, are you audible? Yeah. Perfect. How 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 are you doing? How did you how did you find things? I honestly cannot believe that with a working deployment system, all of the pain, the pain, Joe, of basically the last three hours of this snake have mostly gone away. No one else ever has to deal with that. They're they're completely free. And most importantly, our future guests can also just continue to add ridiculous things to the snake and have it free of their consequ uh, con consequence conscience because as long as we get it in that yaml as long as we get a github action set up for it we are good to go yeah. so let us do a little forward looking at what's coming up next so in two weeks time let me open up my calendar and tell you the dates um, you can also go to uh, this repository to see the full schedule um, on March the 3rd, we are back with Gary Hocken from Twilio. Gary has been doing a lot about Snake on his own Twitch channel. It's been a lot of fun. Very excited to have Gary join us and pick up where we've left off and probably actually add the first logic to the Snake. That'd be really nice. Uh, then we have NH Carrigan mod over on our Discord and creator of many, many useful things. NH Carrigan Naomi created the uh, the sorting hat for the last caster cup. Uh she has created um she well monster squad said she creates really useful discord bots um very excited to have naomi join us and work on the snake penelope uh is joy uh, as she said in discord a couple of uh weeks ago promised me uh that she'd be the cleanup crew um which will definitely be needed by that point and then it's not on this lineup because i haven't ed updated the graphic but may 5th which is the second from last bubble will be patchy codes of new relic Sorry, not May 5th, May 7th. We'll be patch of codes of New Relic. And then we have two slots, special guests left remaining. One of those, we do know what it, who it's going to be, but they're not quite 
committed yet um, but then there is one slot remaining so if you're watching this and you're like that looks exactly like the kind of nonsense i would like to engage in um let us know reach out to myself or did kevin we, did we volunteer uh luke to be that person i mean i'm luke i'm the gauntlet is thrown down it's up to you to pick it up the spot is yours if you want it luke come and join us one of us one of us um other than that only other reminder i have to do um is to remind y'all that the spring league is open and you can join it you can view it you can see what's happening um it is still open i don't think game oh no games have started we were literally watching them earlier um you can we're still relatively early it's only been running for about a week um so you won't be too behind if you join it now lots of cool prizes lots of uh, a new game mode the wrapped game mode um big trophy the i saw the winter trophy recently that's very cool the spring trophy is gonna be awesome uh, it can be really fun to participate in and we also have the casters cup which is happening on snake pit live on saturdays um the casters cup is a different format this uh, this time around it is a north american conference and a european conference the north american conference happened last week so that was the snakes from north america um had a tournament and then the winners uh, the top eight i think have gone through to be in the final tournament and this coming weekend we will be doing the european conference um where the european snakes the top european snakes will be seeded to then take place on the casters cup the following weekend when we will decide whether europe or north american snakes are truly the greater snakes um so all of that is to come on snake pit live on saturdays um with this lovely as you can see this lovely work uh, lovely graphical work um so yeah that is our recap thank you for watching thank you again to mason and matt uh thank you kevin and we will see you in well i'll see you on saturday for snake pit live but otherwise we'll see you here on coding badly uh in two weeks time. two weeks Bye.